Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another YouTube video. Today we are checking out Two Point Hospital. So Two Point Hospital has just released to Xbox and Xbox Game Pass. Uh, it is a hospital simulator. So today we'll be learning how to run a hospital and hopefully keep some people alive and try not to kill too many people. So if you have Xbox Game Pass, you can freely go to the Xbox Game Pass and download this right now. It's about 2.5 gig. If you don't have Xbox Game Pass, I will leave a description, I will leave a link in the description below where you can get your first month for $1. So let's go check out Two Point Hospital, shall we? I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Xbox for providing us with access to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate provides us access to our Xbox Live Gold and unlimited access to well over 100 high quality console and PC games. Games such as Sea of Thieves, Outer Worlds, Dead by Daylight, GTA, Final Fantasy and obviously Two Point Hospital and many more. New games are added every month and it, you will also receive exclusive member discounts and deals as well. Not sure what games to play? Xbox Game Pass for a low fee per month can be a great way to check out some great games on the Xbox. Xbox Game Pass users can also complete quests. These quests will provide users with points and these points in turn can be redeemed for rewards. These rewards can include things such as Xbox Live Gold, Xbox Game Pass membership and many other rewards that you can also see here. Quests can be completed daily, weekly and monthly and are updated all the time. To see what quests are available for you Simply go to the Xbox Game Pass tab on your Xbox or download the Xbox Game Pass app on your mobile device. So for access to all these great Xbox Game Pass games, click the link in the description below so you can get your Xbox Game Pass today. Now, back to the video. Alright, so I am going in um, pretty blind into this. Um, I haven't played this at all, so I'm going in fairly blind. haven't even looked up any tutorials or anything like that, so I'll be learning this along the way today. So looking forward to uh, checking it out. And uh, seeing what kind of hospital we can build. Alright, uh, have a look around. Yep, okay. Cool. So controls seem pretty, pretty basic. How do I zoom out? Yep, that button. The first thing the hospital will need is a reception. Patients will head there when they arrive at the hospital. Let's build a reception desk. Okay, sounds like a great plan. Go to items. Reception for $1,000. It seems like a cheap reception to me. Where do we want to place that? Um, I was never the artistic type, so we'll start there. Fantastic. We'll need an assistant to run the reception. Let's hire one now. Okay. How expensive are they? $16,000? Okay, maybe they're not that much. $4,000. That seems more reasonable for a receptionist. Um, Tabitha, Tabitha Husky. Or... $4,348. Sounds like a deal. Oh, okay. Uh, navigate to the assistance tab. Select a job. Service reception. There we go. Done. We now officially have a receptionist. Before we officially open, we'll also need a GP's office. Patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner. Practitioner. <laughs> At each stage of diagnosis, the GP will assess patients and decide if they are ready for treatment. Okay, let's build one of them. Rooms, GP's office. Um, select rooms and then GP's office. Minimum size room? No, 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 no. Minimum three by three. Where do we want this? Shall I follow its guide up in the corner? So it was a th well. Hang on, I did that wrong. I hold it. Okay. They said three by three. Okay, this is wonky. Three by three. Fantastic. Oh, I can place doors and stuff now. Okay. I'm getting a uh, Sims vibe here, and I haven't played Sims in. A very, very, very long time. And to be honest, I was never really good at the Sims game. Building was not my strong suit. What else does it want me to build? Wants a filing cabinet. $200 for a filing cabinet. Oh no, it wants an office desk. 
$500. Uh, there looks good. And then it wants the filing cabinet. We'll chuck that in the corner. Is that it? Done. Need a doctor. Well, the doctor's not going to be cheap. I'll we'll hire the doctor. Lucy for $12,000. Congratulations, you now have a job. Um, no? Okay. GP's office. There we go. Alright, what's next on the agenda? Hire a doctor. Uh, da, da. Oh, we got it. We need another one. Hire right, doctors. Lando. This is Ricky Hawthorne, bringing talk, <laughs> music, and news to the whole of Two Point County. Did I mean to hire that person? I wonder. Did I make a mistake there? Just turn up that volume. I wonder if I didn't mean to hire that person. Senior assistant looking for work. Whoops! She's running around looking for work now. Okay, diagnose a patient. Where's my patient? Did you know you can quickly pause and resume time at your hospital use with LS? Okay, cool. So it's similar, similar to The Sims, really, in that sense. The controls seem really fluid. No issues with the controls so far. Alright. What does the one mean? Going to reception? Yep, okay. What do they need? They're going to go to the doctor's office. I clearly need more stuff. We need like restrooms. We need lots of things. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's fast forward this a bit. Oh, he's feeling better already. Fantastic. Have a look at the message list in the bottom right. Looks like we need to build a pharmacy to treat the patient. So why for that? So our dis doctors have discovered a new illness, grout. Grout is frequently transmitted in bathrooms and modern medication is effective. The patient is seeking treatment. We will need a pharmacy in order to treat them. It will cost $7,600. Get patient to wait. Um, and then we need to build a pharmacy. So I guess that's in rooms, pharmacy. Uh, minimum three by three. I don't know where to place it. Can we place it right beside? I don't like the gaps. Maybe we can put some toilets behind. I don't know. Look, I'm sure it's. I'm sure I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes. Okay, hire a nurse. Uh, nurses. Okay, yes, Ranwen. For fourteen thousand dollars. Get to work. Um, hello. Pharmacy. Work in pharmacy. There we go. Fantastic. Cure a patient. So the patient is going in there now. We have everything we need to diagnose. Now we have everything we need to diagnose and cure a simple illness. Let's see if our new staff are up to the cha challenge. Let's fast forward. Now that we're some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate with use and will need to repairing from time to time. Hire a janitor. Janitors are over here. Amber Legend for ten thousand dollars. All right. No janitor work in pharmacy. Where do we put them? Eh. No janitor work in pharmacy. Where do we place them? This anywhere? Do do do. We'll say no janitor work there. No janitor work there. Do I just like place them down? Okay, it's as simple as that. Um, and then we also got to place two extinguishers down. And then we're gonna keep everything safe. So fifty dollars. Uh, I think we should put one in here. In case something goes wrong. Um, and maybe one at the entrance for now. Seems like a great idea. Alright, what's next on the list? Well, 
Do, 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 do. Can I? I wanted to edit that. Edit room blueprint. I just want to edit the door. Place two benches. Look, I, I'm getting there. I want. Let me edit my door. It's driving me insane. I'm sure it's possible. I feel like that's it there. Complete room. Place a window in. Can I rotate it maybe? Oh, look at that. Yep, yeah, that'll do the job. Alright, so we need a leaflet stand, drinks machine, snack machine. All the good stuff. Okay. Okay, so... Need a drink machine. I've got to think about my layout here. I'm thinking just near here. Just gonna be like a little area for now. Chuck it in the corner. So drinks machine. A snacks machine over here, right next to it. A leaflet stand. Stuff like that usually goes by the reception desk here. And I wanted some benches, was that right? Two benches to be exact. So I think we'll place one right next to the window. Actually, we'll place both there. Done. Look at that. Alright, let's speed up time a little bit. Let's get the camera angle changed too. Let's... Staff get tired as they work and they will eventually go on a break. A staff room will help them relax and return to work energized. Drinks and snacks help them keep them happy too. If you make a room larger and fill it with interesting items, it will be considered more prestigious. People using a high prestige room will become happier. A nice staff room will also help staff regain energy faster. Build a staff room. Okay. How big? Well, it says 3 by 2 so we might make this a little bigger. Okay. I think I've spent enough money in the staff room for them for now. Do I want to stop editing this room? Build it! Look at that! That looks sh pretty snazzy to me! A staff will head to a staff room when they're on a break. Fill the room with interesting items. Then I can make them take a break. Okay. Easy done. Uh, where's that room box? So that's old. Also, reputation increases each patient. Yep, okay. Yep, I understand that. Let's speed up time again. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering if there are no bins nearby. While we're at it, staff and patients will get pretty grumpy if they don't have access to any toilets. You might want to invest in some quality porcelain. Janitors will help maintain all of these. Restocking vending machines, sweeping up litter, empty bins, and unlocking toilets. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to fix these rooms up because these annoy me. So let's edit that. Pick up room. What? Pick up room. And let's place that in the corner now. That way that doesn't annoy me anymore. Edit. So again, we'll pick up the room. All right. Trying to make things look a little bit orderly here. Um. So what? What are we going to build? We have to build a toilets. How big does that need to be? So I think what we'll do. place toilets there and then we'll place the door and I guess the door can go there um, we're obviously gonna need a toilet cubicle whoop excuse me for moving that up. moving that <clears throat> ok 
Okay, let's top that. Oh, that's what I need. I gotta press B. Oh, maybe I should have made this bigger. That's a big toilet cubicle. Yeah, right, we might need to make we need to make this bigger, much bigger. <clears throat> much bigger. No. Well, I just want to. <gasps> no, I've got to redo all that now. All right, we got to make that bigger anyway. Look, I don't know. I'm I'm pretty sure hospital toilets get pretty busy. So, so I'll place the door over here. So we'll put maybe three in? Or four? Go four, eh? Four seems like the norm. Alright, then we got to get in a few sinks. Why can't I get to the sinks? Why won't you let me go down to the sinks? Is it because that's all at once? <clears throat> do, 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 do. Edits. Am I out of money? Why can't I go to the sinks? What the hell's that? No. Oh, finally. It just wouldn't let it just wouldn't let me move. Okay, so we'll put some sinks here. Maybe th two sinks. And we'll chuck a hand dryer in against that wall there. Bin in the corner. I'm not gonna chuck a plant a plant in a um toilet. Just seems weird. I've never there was a bit sanity plants and toilets that I visited. That I visit. All right, so that's all done. Place two bins. We need some bins probably around here as well. So. Uh, Items, bins, place one there for now. Alright, let's keep fast forwarding that time. We're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town. These might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnosis room. If a GP isn't certain, they will send a patient for further diagnosis. Okay, so we're building another room. General diagnosis. That needs to be three by three as well. So we'll place a door on the front. As you expand hospital with more rooms and staff, the hospital level increases. A larger hospital attracts more patients. As the hospital gets busier, queues may start to get long. We may need to build more GP offices and other rooms and hire more staff. Look out for queue warnings above rooms. You can also hover over a room to highlight people queuing for that room. Okay. Makes sense. Um, what happened? Where's my door? What? We stuffed something up. Let's try that again. Uh, general diagnosis. We want to bring that all the way out here. We want to place a door. With... A uh, little computer machine. I would think that a computer machine should go against the window. And the bed for that should go there. Place a... Do they need a filing cabinet? Yeah, we'll place a filing cabinet. We'll make it look. I think most rooms have a filing cabinet. We need a bin as well. Need something lo nice to look at for the workers. You should have one as well, and you should have one too. Probably should have a bin. All your rubbish. Um, and a extinguisher as well. Okay, I think I'm happy. Now we just got to cure two patients. How are queue times? Queue times look alright. Everything is moving along quite nicely. I don't, I, it's hard to say. No one's saying they're unhappy, so... You know. There's a peculiar new illness in town. Lightheadedness. We're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock the treatment room. We may also need another GP's office and some more staff to keep on top of things. 
increase hospital level by expanding the hospital with more rooms and staff. So that wants me to build another GP office, hire another nurse, and another doctor. Okay. Alright, so we've got to build another GP's office. Where should we place that? Along this wall here? Gonna make things look, you know. Trying, I'm trying to make things look neat, you know? Trying. Alright, so same thing. I think we'll just put the door opposite. Start to get that little hospital feel going to it. So, same thing. We'll put that in there. Put a filing cabinet in. Put the bin in for him. And we'll give him a plant as well to look at. And happy. Done. So we've got to hire someone for that. So that was a doctor. Who do we want to hire? $19,000! Oh look, this one's sixteen thousand. Oh, he's a he's a two star. Employment reference: weak bladder will work for peanuts. Ooh, I like that. I can just pay him peanuts. Likes to argue. No, nah, I don't want people that want to argue with me. Not at all. Wait, rep replaces Lando vape. What? How come he's going over there? I didn't say you can get a promotion to the new office. This is unacceptable. Makes no sense. I never said you could do that. Nurse. We've got to hire another nurse. I'm, I'm assuming we can have two nurses. Is that what's going on? Nurses. For $23,000. What's their employment reference? A natural mentor. High energy. Un unmotivated. Believes all lucky numbers are actually unlucky in some kind of... I don't like this person. Ties easily... So I, I need to see some more resumes. Reject. Alright, the new resumes have come in. We have a Kelly resume that came in. High energy, funny, class clown, wrote a book about staplers. That sounds like a good resume to me. I think we'll hire them. Wait to replace... Well, I don't want to replace... Do I need to build another nurse room? Can you only have one nurse per room? Because it said hire another. Sorry, wait to replace. Oh, that was meant to go in here. That was what that was for. That's what that other nurse was for. Alright, so we just got to get the hospital to level 4. Current level is level 3, so let's speed up time. The queue times don't seem too bad. Everyone's still loving the place, loving life. I'm loving being at a hospital. We're probably going to need another one of these rooms soon, I think. That seems to be the waiting time is. It's your problem. Where's the dude that's in here? He must be on a break. Maybe. Where's the person that's in here? What's him? What have you been doing? What do you mean you're looking for work? Work in here. I never sacked you. My goodness. Craziness. Oh, we got, we got messages to check. Uh, whoa, 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 hang on, what's this? Lando is ready for promotion from student doctor to junior doctor. Uh, promotion from student to junior doctor will provide one training slot, 10 movement, offer a pay rise, current salary, new salary. Wait, what? $20,000, I'll give him a promotion. 
Uh, our doctors have discovered a new illness, bed face, a quite alarming contortion of the face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend always using a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping angles. The patient is seeking treatment and will need a ward. Will cost uh, get patient to wait, so we need to build a ward. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, misery guts, chronic <laughs> chronic grumpiness due to wasn't the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so we need another room. It was the ward. Where shall we place the ward? It needs a four by three, so it's a little bit bigger. So the ward's a little bit bigger. Maybe we'll place the ward over here, over this way. So a four by three. So what do we need? We need a door. If I can place a door, invalid corner location. Really? Gonna make life difficult for me? Sounds like a fantastic idea. Oh, it needs a little desk as well. All right, so I reckon they'll come in. They'll see the counter. They'll need that screen for some reason. And a bed. Uh, okay. Mm. Look at that. What else do we need in here? Same thing. I'll chuck some bins in here. Extinguisher. A nice little plant to look at. Keep everyone happy. And I think we need a filing cabinet, you know. Got to keep the documents all in order. And happy. Build it. Let's get it done. Wards can be used for diagnosis and also treat a range of illnesses. We need to hire another nurse. Uh, unmotivated designs mittens. You sound boring. Charming, funny, thought until recently that Ricky Hawthorne was dead. You seem perfect. You're hired. Fantastic. Well, I think we'll finish up that episode there. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, obviously, getting into the swing of things. Um, hope you guys are enjoying it too. Again, this game is available on Xbox Game Pass as of today. So if you have Xbox Game Pass, go download it for two and a half gigs and see if you can build a better hospital than myself. If you don't have Xbox Game Pass, again, the link will be in the description below where you can get your first month for a dollar and access to well over 100 games. Uh, they're releasing a lot of games every month. Uh, some great games there. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Until then, take care guys.